that's a nice existence. Activate climbing mode, and you can get out of there, werewolf. Another torture room with a little bit of loot. You don't want to know what they've been doing in here. And then a room with the papers. Oh man, yay. Let's grab this loot and then grab the papers and get the heck out of here. I am done with this dungeon. So let's do it. We are too far away. All right. Welcome back, everybody. This is the Johnny Mayor, and I am continuing with Marisar's journey through Daggerfall. So my last episode, we headed through Castle Necromogan to find Minasera's letters for the Queen of Daggerfall. We encountered lots of werewolves, lots of spellblades, and we did finally find some papers deep within this labyrinth. Now what I didn't do in the last episode was actually show off what the papers say. So we'll scroll down and we will access them so that you can actually see what was written in these incriminating papers. So first off, we have some interesting language used by the writer, the penner of these papers. And it talks a little bit about a relationship that apparently was going on. But I think the more interesting information is contained on the bottom paragraph there, the fourth page. It's talking about basically slaughtering, wholesale slaughtering of the orcs, and especially of the weak, the old, the sick, and children, and that this was done basically for sport. And so whoever these papers were being written about, whether that was Lysandus or... I think it is supposed to be Lysandus. They were essentially engaging in some pretty nasty atrocities. And so this is pretty incriminating information. So certainly the Queen of Daggerfall is going to be able to use this information for something. We're not sure what. We don't really know why we were sent here other than to find these papers at her behest. So we're going to have to head back to Daggerfall and give these back to the Queen and hopefully get a reward for our efforts because this dungeon was pretty nasty for us to get through. We had to endure a lot of combat with a lot of different creatures. Let's head on out and we'll head back to the capital. A huge bat and a flock of ravens. Well, I guess I'll just picture that in my mind since you're not going to actually animate that. Let's head back to Daggerfall. We have a lot of stuff that we picked up in terms of loot, and so we want to sell all that off. And a lot of that loot is actually stuff that you're going to have to find a particular shop to sell, too, and that is a pawn shop. Ooh, our jumping skill improved. Nice. But we are back in civilization, such as it is in this area. So we're going to try to find a pawn shop. I'm not sure I've actually found a pawn shop in this town yet, but we will try to find one. Let's try heading to the south here, past some of these general stores. I managed to find one, just to the north of the Mages Guild. So let's head on in, and let's sell off our massive amount of extra items that we have, the miscellaneous items that we acquired in that last dungeon, that are worth quite a bit. Our holy daggers, and I think we had a book too that was worth a couple thousand gold. But pawn shops are pretty much the only place that'll buy a lot of these miscellaneous items, like this holy tome. You might be able to sell that at a bookstore, I'm not sure. But certainly these religious items, I think a pawn shop is the only place you can sell them. So you're going to notice that the cost value is going to go up pretty dramatically here, especially once we add these daggers to the pile, because they are worth a lot of money. So we're going to throw everything into our little sell sack here, and sell it all off. We can sell that piece of parchment. I don't know if that's Minasera's papers. I wouldn't put it past Daggerfall, but I'm going to assume that that's the recipe for the resist fire potion we found. About 5,000 gold, a little over 
one third, not too bad. And then we can also sell weapons and armor. So we might as well get rid of that as well. I think about one third is pretty good for this point in the game. I think I was getting about one fourth before this in terms of my mercantile. So yeah, pretty good. We'll take it. So we're almost up to 18,000 gold. Notice our encumbrance is pretty high now. Just from our gold and then our equipment that we have currently equipped. Let's see if you have anything of note that we might want to purchase. Bun shops kind of have a miscellaneous stock of items. We might be able to find something. Ooh, like these steel gauntlets. Those are better than our chain ones. So let's buy those. Slightly increase our armor. Apparently you have the Holy Grail here, but we are not interested in that. We will choose wisely and not grab that cup that we saw. And we don't want to buy back the Holy Dagger. No thank you. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's really anything else of note. So let's just sell off our other gauntlets that we no longer need, and then we will head to the castle. I might also try stopping at a potion vendor to sell off some ingredients too. But the main thing is to get to the castle and hand in these papers to get them off us. So we are pretty far in the southwest corner, so we have a lot of traveling to do. We gotta go all the way up to the north and pretty much the middle of the city. That's gonna be quite the hike in order to get to the castle. So of course I will just meet you over there after selling off my ingredients and making the trek. So see you in a bit. All right, so we made it to the castle. Let's head on in. We'll have to answer the doorman's question, as always. Apparently they're still having their rat problem here in this castle. Or maybe bats, I guess. I think that's the bat sound. All right, Queenie, we found your papers after much trial and tribulation. Make sure we still have them and I didn't accidentally sell them off. Let's see. So we still have our potion of resist fire recipe. We have a letter of credit, apparently. I must have picked that up for that massive sale. And then we have our parchment here of Minasera's papers. Nice. Almost 5,000 gold and a letter of credit. Interesting. Again, gold does have weight in this game. But all right, let's talk to the queen. Here are the papers. Uh, don't you want to say something? Do I have to try again? Uh, hello, queen. I have the papers for you. Did you take the papers? I still have my letter of credit and my potion, but you didn't say anything and you didn't give me a reward. Seriously? This is how you're gonna play this? You're just gonna take the papers and not reward me? Or tell me what to do next? Um. Really? Are you going to stand for that? Wait, no. You have a quest for me? No, I'm not going to do your quest. The queen just completely stiffed me. So no, I'm not going to do that. What in the world? Oh my gosh. Azura protect me. What in the world is going on? I mean, these royals have not given me anything of value in the past, and now they're just completely screwing me over. <sighs> well, I don't know what to do now. What am I supposed to do? It's not like I can demand payment, I can't attack the queen. I mean, I could. I guess we're just gonna go to an inn. Try to drown away our sorrows here of a wasted time in that labyrinth, fighting and risking our life against all of those werewolves. 
Alright, I want your most expensive bottle of something to get me drunk. I guess we'll have to do wine. You're not even gonna let me have wine. Really. Seriously, Daggerfall. This is unacceptable. Well, we're gonna sleep until darkness then we are going to extract a reward from this place by going on a little bit of a crime spree. I think it's about time to do some larceny here in Daggerfall. Maybe not the best place to do it, given that Lysandus' spirit is haunting this place, and so he has wraiths out and about. But you know what? I'm ticked off enough that I don't really care at this point. We're just gonna head out now that it's pretty late at night and we're just going to break into some stores. And we're gonna try to rob the places blind. All right, well, so long, creepy kid. We're heading out. And we're gonna see what the night brings us. All right, so where are the closest stores? Like there's an equipment store and a bookstore just to our south west. So let's try those places first and get ready for vengeance. Vengeance! Because he's going to be uttering that over and over and over and over and over again. Hello, statue. But yeah, what in the world? I guess, as a matter of full disclosure, I think that's a bug in the game. We're going to weave it into Marisar's tail. Okay, here we are at the general store. And basically go this route. Alright, it didn't open. Next. That he was betrayed by the crown and essentially was not rewarded for his efforts. But... What happened was, I completed the quest. Come on. Some of these doors have to open, right? Where are the next doors? All right, the massive square that I've been using to sell off a lot of my stuff, we'll head there. And I went to the queen, and I handed in the papers, and I actually got the completed quest, and she gave me her dialogue, but then the game crashed. Vengeance. One of these has to open, right? And even though I loaded the game, I've reset the game, I've tried playing an earlier save. Come on. It doesn't matter, and the game is bugged out. And essentially, I cannot complete the quest now. So again, for the... <laughs> Come Vengeance. on. I know my lockpick skill isn't that great. But if we roll these dice enough times, we should be able to break into one of these places, unless these lock levels are like 100. I think they're like 255 sometimes. It's something ridiculous. Uh, what if I swing? No, I can't break it down. Oh man, there's a guard. Let's get out of here. Vengeance. Yes, I want vengeance too, Lysandus. I want vengeance for being treated poorly. No, don't send wraiths after me. Send them after your stupid people that live here. But yeah, now no matter what save I try, no matter how I try to complete the quest, it just doesn't work. I get that same outcome. So again, as I mentioned, we're just going to roll with it and say that Marisar has been essentially betrayed by the royalty of Daggerfall. And that has disillusioned him even more towards helping out people. Specifically, royalty. Oh, a ghost just died. Nice. wonder if the guard killed it. Vengeance. I don't think we would be able to kill it. Maybe. I'd have to probably equip my ebony dagger. But as I've mentioned previously, it's getting pretty low in durability, so I don't want it to break just yet. So this crime spree is certainly not legendary so far. We have not managed to break into anything. 
Vengeance. So let's try some normal houses. No, even they are out of our skill level currently. I guess maybe I should have invested some more in Marisar's lockpick when I was creating the character. I think we're getting close to the Mage's Guild. I'm not sure if the Mage's Guild actually Vengeance. gets locked at night or not. So I guess we can check it out. Let's see here. Let's head on in. What was that? I just heard something in my head. Oh, some sound. Just like a static effect. Oh, now I have a splitting headache. And there's nobody here. Well, it doesn't look like we can do anything in here either. So, I guess the Mage's Guild is safe. We're not going to be able to rob it. I don't think we're going to be able to rob anything at this point. Vengeance. These houses are beyond our abilities. I mean, we are, of course, working on our lockpicking skill, if nothing else. Maybe it'll get to a point where we can actually use it. But so far, no good. What about barracks in the walls? No, well, even those are locked. We can't get in. Uh, okay. Hey, we actually opened a lock. Where did it take us? Inside the wall with the half-textured door. And is there anything in here? It is literally an empty room with nothing of value. Of course. That is just our luck. Vengeance. Well, all right. We're done with Daggerfall. Specifically, I mean the area of Daggerfall. So since we had better luck with the Royals of Wayrest, we're going to head back there. Because at least they have rewarded us for doing things for them. So Marisar has no reason to stay here given his betrayal. So we're going to head back to Wayrest and we're going to continue our attempts at larceny. Probably not in Wayrest proper, the city itself. We might go to some surrounding areas to try to get a little bit better at thieving. But perhaps we'll also increase our level through some other quests and get to a point where we can continue with the quest line of the royals here in Wayrest. Because otherwise, we don't really know what to do. So as always, viewers, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We don't really know what to do at this point. Our log is empty. We tried to do what the Emperor wanted of us, but we have met nothing but resistance. So we're going to have to figure out a different plan. So I'll see you all in my next episode. So long. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and leave a comment below. Please also subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell. See you next time.